Let's talk about the sources of self-efficacy for life coaches. How does self-efficacy develop? These, belief begin to, these beliefs begin to form in early childhood as children deal with a wide variety of experiences, tasks and situations. However, the growth of self-efficacy does not really um, end until during youth, but continues to evolve throughout life as people acquire new skills, experiences and understanding. According to psychologist Bandura, there are four major sources of self-efficacy. The first is mastery experiences. The most effective way of developing a strong sense of efficacy is through mastery experiences, Bandura explain, explains. Performing a task successfully strengthens our sense of self-efficacy. However, failing to adequately deal with a task or challenge can undermine and weaken self-efficacy. Social modelling, witnessing other people successfully, completing a task is another important source of self-efficacy. Seeing people similar to oneself succeed by sustained effort raises observers' belief that they too possess the capabilities to master comparable activities to succeed. The third way to develop self-efficacy is through social persuasion. Bandura also asserted that people could be persuaded to believe that they have the skills and capability to succeed. Consider a time when someone said something positive and encouraging that helped you achieve a goal. Getting verbal encouragement from others helps people overcome self-doubt and instead focus on giving their best effort to the task at hand. The fourth way to establish uh, personal self-efficacy is through psychological responses. Our own responses and emotional reactions to situations also play an important role in self-efficacy. Moods, emotional states, physical reactions and stress levels can all impact how a person feels about their personal abilities in a particular situation. A person who becomes extremely nervous before speaking in public may develop a weak sense of self-efficacy in these situations. However, Bandura also notes that it is not the sheer intensity of emotional and physical reactions that is important, but rather how they are perceived and interpreted. By learning to minimise stress and elevate mood when facing difficult or challenging tasks, people can improve their sense of personal self-efficacy.